it's a bit like a rabbit warren up here actually. So there's like a path you can go through here, which is a real tight squeeze. Then there's another path there and another path there. So, and obviously down there, and then there's another one there. So let's go through this one because there's no actual signs anymore. They're just sort of telling you by parts, but I guess all roads lead to Rome, right? We're trying to get to the very summit for the views. Welcome to another Healing Hikes adventure for this week. Last week we went to Bush Rangers Bay in Cape Shank, Mornington Peninsula, one of my favourite hikes, so check that video out after this one. But today, where are we? We're at Hanging Rock in the Macedon Ranges. This is a six million year old volcano. There's a discovery centre here, there's a um, horse riding track, There's um, they do concerts, Alton John's been here, Midnight Oil. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the summit walk, the full summit Summit walk which is 1800 meters return trip so all the way up to the top up here then we're going to do the base walk which is another 1800 meters around so they say up to 80 minutes they allow to do both of those and then there's a beautiful creek walk which is only about two and a half kilometers which follows around the whole area now as a side note it does cost ten dollars entry to enter this park as it is beautifully maintained as you can see in the background there's lots of picnic areas and places you can bring your kids dogs are even allowed as well but dogs aren't allowed to go up to the top of the summit so I hope you enjoy this video and happy hiking Right now we're just walking through these big massive volcanic boulders and they all vary in size. This one here, probably about 20 meters tall, really big. On the other side it's the exact same and they've just got these awesome erosion from the wind and the water and just the earth. It looks absolutely beautiful. So. It's a great three hike this one, just because of the strenuous incline the whole way. Even though the form of the trail is bitumen, I'm sure it's going to get into dirt and rock further the higher we go. Because they can't... Wow. Look at this. That one. Easy 15 metres wide by 30 metres tall. The mountain itself is, a, I think, this rock formation is 150 metres tall. So I'm really looking forward to the views of the north, eastern, western and northern sections of Melbourne, Victoria over the Macedon Ranges. They're absolutely beautiful. Actually being really famous for its volcanic rock and the big mountain and beautiful landscape and being famous for its concerts and horse racing and markets and all that stuff it's actually really famous for a book picnic at hanging rock and a movie made from the same title made by Peter Weir so um yes yeah, quite a quite a big cultural and community place this one See what she done to me. Yeah, I was wrong in trying, but now I can be. All right, 
similar to the Grampians, Grampians or Cathedral Ranges, we've got some really big boulder climbs now. So this is where it steps from a grade three, possibly on a grade four, grade five high. So we're off the beaten trail now. Um, we're off the regular trail, sorry, and onto the boulder climbs. rabbit warren up here actually so there's like a path you can go through here which is a real tight squeeze then there's another path there and another path there so and obviously down there and then there's another one there so let's go through this one because there's no actual signs anymore they're just sort of telling you by paths but I guess all roads lead to Rome right we're trying to get to the very summit for the views Finally reached it to the top. We found the top. Check out these views. Beautiful. Just found a nice little rock on the top, the very highest peak, and we're just sitting here taking in the views. What a beautiful day Melbourne has delivered today. Oh, absolutely amazing. So after this, what we'll do is we'll go down the summit and we'll do the, the trail that goes right around this whole beautiful rock. As I mentioned, Cathedral Ranges Grampians, we have done videos on those a couple of weeks back. So if you do want to check out my channel, we've got hikes weekly, as I mentioned. So we're getting a good little catalog now. We're up to about 20 and I reckon we'll keep continuing as I love hiking and I love getting you out into nature. known as Mount Diogenes, I 
hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled D-I-O-G-E-N-E-S. Alright, sun is on, sun's out. So we're going to descend down the summit now and we're going to do the um, the circuit walk. It's called the base circuit walk. So I believe it's about two kilometres and um, should be good to get on some flat grassy ground. at the bottom of the staircase and there's just this huge rock right here it's an easy 50 meters tall I'll give you a close-up walk so we've done the summit so this actually feels kind of like a road at the moment it's actually not that much of a hike it's more grade one it's got a really relaxed sort of family vibe about it where you would come with family friends a school there actually was a school here today um, the picnic grounds there's a small cricket oval down there so we'll walk this just for a little bit and we'll see how the vibes are but um yeah, obviously you've got the option, if you want to go for a quick climb and a hike, you've got the summit walk, but then if you want to come for a relaxing walk with the family, you can. Here's the summit and the ferns in the background, so um, I'll show you the views along the way. The sun is peaking, the sun is peering across the bay, and I am walking. Sucking still there on this fine day, a lady squeaking. Lady she shuffles oh, so it's really good to see a lot of schools here today actually. Them getting the schools out, learning about the environment, science, biology, you know, history, literacy. There's a lot of really good things, history as well. Good things to learn about nature. So there is the Discovery Center, picnic grounds everything you need for a really good day's adventure especially up to the top there for your more adventurous hardcore hikers um i thought i'd just show you a bit of the trail as we walk here so we're doing a slight incline coming through what looks like a rainforesty feel now so it's quite diverse and i believe there's a creek at the bottom too with views of the mount macedon in the distance Just stop here and have a look at the trail. It's the rocks in the background. So it's actually volcanic mammalion, which is one of the oldest in the world that's still existing. Six million years. That's been formed by coagulations of weather formations. I hope I got that word right. But yeah, it's quite amazing. The divorce, diverse flora and fauna of magpies and currawongs. And the school teacher was saying koalas, but you really do see koalas on the trail. Some beautiful managums and peppermint gums and stringy bark trees and you've obviously got the ferns here and seen a lot of lizards as well so be careful of your footing don't don't like you know make sure you're not stepping on a snake because if you step on one you'll know about it I'll sit 
night at hikes coming up so we're doing some overnight hikes and um, we've already done Wilson's Prom and the Grampians but we've got another three that we want to try and get done not only before the end of the year but also into January so we've got some good weather so um, hold tight we're gonna go on some more overnight adventures I don't want to let you know where they are at the moment because I want it to be a surprise but um, it'll be really really good these ones I haven't done these ones before and um, yeah, I'll show you all my gear, load out, how it only seven kilos it weighs. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty exciting. So um, let's get back on the trail. This walk, this hike, it actually reminds me of Mount Piper. Mount Piper was a hike I did a couple weeks ago and filmed. So how it's similar is, you know, you're traveling for a couple hundred kilometers or however far you travel, and it's just all flat farmland. And then you come to this mountain in the middle and it's just beautiful, like a real nice rocky volcanic formation. And around it is this grassy fields of joy track so very very similar hanging rock is a little bit larger obviously and has um, more more features um, and is a lot more pronounced in its rock formations and has the discovery center and other stuff here so um, they're very very similar so if you're interested in checking out that one mount piper in broadford that was done not too long ago as well off that greeny bush um, trail and now we're on to the road again so hanging rock race course here are the stables I never knew there was a race course here but now it makes sense because they do have music festivals and stuff like that so that's really cool um, and there's a lake maybe a man-made lake or dam I almost call it a lake it's a bit too big to be a dam here the sun is peering across the bay and I am walking Sucking still there on this fine day I'll set him down I'll set him down Yeah, yeah The end of the hike well i thanks so much for watching i definitely recommend checking out the summit doing some boulder climbs coming here with some schools or you know your family and friends going to the hanging rock cafe now next week we're going to go on a big hike all the same just as iconic but we've got some overnight hikes coming up um two three night or hikes where i'll go through my gear in the next couple weeks so i hope you're all well and happy hiking how beautiful is this hike? It literally has so much diverse flora and fauna.
it's amazing. It's like I just ordered big teriyaki from Chinese restaurant. Follow, follow the sun, and which way the wind blows when this day is done. Set your intentions. Dream with care. This hike is gorgeous and it's such a tight squeeze. Like, I'm not joking, a lot of these spots to get through. Tomorrow's a new day for everyone. And a brand new moon and brand new sun. Follow, follow the sun 